Hi Nathan here again with another True Tech Troubleshooting tutorial. I had a question from a subscriber about creating lifecycle forms that will be compatible with Adobe Reader. And of course, by default, all forms are compatible with Adobe Reader. In other words, they can be opened in Adobe Reader. But when you start filling in form data, you'll get a message in Adobe Reader that says this form cannot be saved or this form data cannot be saved and it looks something like this. You'll get this pop-up depending on the version of Reader you have you get this pop-up and it will ask you if you are you do you want to continue because none of the data you're entering will be saved. And so the question is always being asked how do I create a form that will allow for saving? Well this is not a bug this is actually a feature by default, Lifecycle creates forms that are not savable in Adobe Reader. In other words, they are not reader extended. So if you want to create a reader extended form, you need to save in Lifecycle your form and then reopen it in Acrobat Pro. And then without doing any changes to the data fields, go to File, Save as Other, Reader Extended PDF, and then enable more tools, save now. And you can change the name if you want. Normally what I do is I put an RE at the end, which means this form has now been reader extended. So this now allows in Adobe Reader, somebody to go in and fill in the form fields and save the form with those fields filled out. Whereas if you just create a lifecycle dynamic form and the, you don't extend it to them, then they'll be able to use the form, open it, view it, fill it out, but they won't be able to save that data and that could cause issues. Really is a problem in Lifecycle that Adobe really has never addressed. And so this is the workaround for it. Okay, thanks for the question and hopefully this helps. Like, subscribe and continue asking questions on the comment section.